if I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, hello there, everyone. Today, I have this to work on. A subscriber has a problem with his Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Never heard of it. Oh, yeah. Problem is, he's telling me, is it doesn't want to charge sometimes. He can plug it in and it doesn't charge. Sometimes. Intermittent problem. Holes are kind of the worst, aren't they? So, how, how do you turn this doohickey on here? Okay, button right here. 83% it says. So he says when he plugs this guy in, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 83% and if I plug this in, I don't get any indicator right now. Let's unplug it. Plug it back in. I don't think it's charging. He's right. Maybe I'll plug it the other way here. Maybe that makes a difference? No. So, this thing doesn't want to turn on and off. So let's double check the power supply is working. Now, <coughs> pretty hard to check these power supplies. You know, by sticking in a probe and all that. So you get one of these guys. These guys help you. Um, you can have the USB uh, in and out. I've got a USB C in and out, and also a USB micro. And what it does, it, it they'll tell you your voltage and all that. So let's try it. Plug her in. Plug it in my power bar, and I'm going to turn on my power bar. And isn't that odd? Nothing. Do we have a bad cable somewhere? Nothing. Maybe if I hit it? Nothing. Well, you don't believe me, let's... Alright, this is an old... Uh, brick adapter. An old brick adapter from an Apple. There's my... You know, plug it into the bar. That works right away. Tell me 5.10 volts. It would tell me the amperage if I connected it to another device. But isn't that odd? Okay, let's try a... Oh, I got one of these guys here. Uh, another brick. Let's see if I get some value on it. Same cable. Plug it in it. There, that comes up. This one's only 4.94 volts. You can see how accurate this thing is. Okay. So, why isn't that other adapter telling me? And likewise, I can put an output to this to this and we can actually see the current right now it's saying zero amps well, because there's no draw let's get some current on it okay let's plug it in here the output and let's plug it into here okay it starts charging see right now it's drawing um, 0.8 of an amp Let's 
take this out let's plug in that original charger yes this is an original charger from the tandle the switch see that's odd right I'm not getting any reading on this tester and look the power is not going through the cord so something tells me something's still wrong with this charger I wonder how much voltage is actually at this if it's not enough to power let's see here I've got an adapter here there we go Looks like I might need a another. You can never have enough cables. There, I got another cable here. So this will plug into here. Test the voltage. Make sure these aren't touching anywhere. Let's put this in here. Okay, now I, I can be I should be able to test the voltage here. As long as these don't touch. Ah, let's get my digital multimeter here. Turn this on to volts DC. Yes, I'm getting only 0.2 of a volt. 0.2. That's the problem. I should at least be getting 5 volts out of this thing. Yeah, not working too good, is it? And to confirm that, why don't I get rid of this charger? And let's plug in a known one. Where's my one from my old Apple? Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Plug it back in here. Plug this adapter into here. This is my little cheater cord that goes to my alligator clips. And there you go, I'm getting 5 volts. And that's what I should be getting. So I can see why he's having a problem with this switch. It's the original battery charger, the original brick. So, well. Not much I can fix here. <laughs> I'm just diagnosing a problem. That charges right up. Well, there you go, guys. That's the problem here. It's just not getting any voltage. 0.2 of a volt, that's not enough. We need 5 volts. So that's the problem here. Well, that was an easy diagnose. Um, what I will do is uh, I will go in there and clean the contacts there. I have a little uh, contact cleaner. Spray it in there, blow the air out, just make sure that's good and clean. And well, why don't we try that right now? The old power supplies you could take apart. They had screws on, but this one does not. Even though it's uh, not charging, I'm not going to destroy it for him, take it apart. I'm just going to tell him that he just uses a different charger. This one's... NFG Haywire. Well guys, I hope that's a little bit informative. That's a good little test on this tool here. It's, it's a pretty neat tool. It's fun to work with. And, uh, well, good luck with your, well in this case, uh, throw it away adapter. But good luck with your repairs.